mirror 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 we're doing mirror effect today mirror effect mirror what up i love you it's mirror effect day this is a very straightforward effect there's only two controls so you're going to go to your effect control panel once you have this thrown on your clip it's a very quick effect there's only two effect controls on it so go to your effects search mirror and then drag that onto the clip you want to modify once you're in the effect control panel you're going to see two options the first option you're going to see is reflection center this is where it actually turns from so where this reflection center starts is the dead middle all the way to the right of your clip that's where your pivot point and your reflection is going to turn from the second effect on there you're going to see is reflection angle and this is i guess you can think of it as the amount of reflection but really it's the angle of the reflection right so if you have it at zero you're not reflecting at all but as soon as you start turning it you're gonna notice that it's starting to reflect the clip. And it's starting at that dead middle point all the way to the right and starts to turn inward. So right now, as it goes up, you see I'm starting to turn into a monster with two faces. So with reflection angle, your positive adjustment when you're moving it plus one is gonna come from the bottom of the clip. When you're going negative, so you start negative one to negative 90, you're coming from the top of the clip. Once you pass 90 in either direction, you've passed the reflection peak. So that's gonna start taking the clip and you're gonna see black start coming at the bottom or if you have another clip under it you're gonna see what's under your clip starting to appear this is because the reflection is not adding on top it's taking away as it adds so it's you're, you don't have an unlimited ability to reflect all of your clip down to a little tiny bit unless you change your reflection center when you're changing your reflection center you'll notice where it's starting at is gonna be a little different so then you can play around and not have this black appear a mirror effect is used in a lot of different film. Doctor Strange just came out the Doctor Strange city. When you see it, it's kind of like you're in New York and you see the city, but then above is the city. There's two cities. How, how'd they do it? That's a feat of movie magic. It's not, it's just mirror. It's just mirror. You can do it too. So you throw the clip on there, you add your mirror effect to it. And then once you change it to your 90, you're going to get that exact perfect middle mirror. So now you have two halves of whatever you had exactly copied you can get incredibly creative with this effect especially once you start adding a mask to it to control exactly what you're mirroring so one quick little one that you'd probably never want to actually use is you can mask someone's face out and mirror it and give them two sets of eyes first set of eyes where eyes go second set of eyes down on their chin right yeah you got a monster now it doesn't look great but it shows you how creative you can get with it another type of effect you can get is if you stack the mirror effect on itself and control based on where it's layered on the effect controls you can start to get a really cool kaleidoscope effect and if you get creative and add overlays to this and move things around a little bit of where the root clip is itself you can get this mysterious almost dream-esque kaleidoscope effect mirror is stupid easy i mean you can go as far as you want you can go as long as you want do you know real mirrors in real life reflect you backwards so you never see yourself how you're supposed to see yourself just a thought